What instrument will we be playing on this mic, you might wonder? <laughs> Especially in light of all we've learned so far about sound reinforcement. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Bluegrass is serious music. We do this tonight since it's cool and not humid. And uh, get it over with for the weekend. And, uh, thanks for asking for this, uh, and really appreciate it because um, this doesn't embarrass me. I'm very proud of having this skill. It's called hand boning. And um, a lot of white people are afraid to try this because it requires rhythm and timing, and I'm one of them. And uh, it's, I, I'm not trying to hold up the honor of my whole race by being offbeat. Uh, <laughs> you can't hear that out there, can you? Yeah. Oh! Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, now look, if you got a chair that doesn't have any arms on it, try this. And if you got a chair that's got arms on it, stand up. <laughs> you can do this standing up, let me show you. Play along in the audience, called hand boning. And uh, I just mentioned that uh, I learned this off, I always like to give him credit because his name was Bobby Lowe and a black fella and, and us kids wasn't allowed to hang around with him because all my family was prejudiced. They say things like, don't hang out with them black kids who lives down by the railroad tracks. And so, and see, you're not born with prejudice. You got to learn it. People's got to teach it to you. And so in my child brain, that translated to don't hang out with people that have rhythm and timing and sing harmony on pitch. <laughs> sing like us white people in unison. <clears throat> and my friend Bobby Lowe, he actually told me this. He felt sorry for me because I was white, because he knew I wanted a hand bone so bad, you know, and he figured that's probably the only way I'd ever be able to do it. And he was, he, most amazing thing he ever did, we'd ride our bicycles together and we lived in the mountains and he'd get to going down the mountain, he could still pedal and, and kind of do the hand bone. And you can do this, there's nothing to it, just especially the white hand bone. Don't have no rhythm, just and he could do this and keep the beat with this foot and then do the one that had rhythm and timing with this hand and keep the beat with this foot, sort of like So you can do it either hand, don't matter. Now let me give you an idea how hard this is. Just three and a half short months ago, this arm was completely broken off. <laughs> it's only healed to be able to do one thing. So uh, I really appreciate it if you'd play along and uh, we do the song off a of CD that uh, several people asked for. It's a song about a stallion I just buried about two weeks ago. But, uh, and it was the first horse I wasn't able to do myself. And uh, so the neighbors helped and everything. And so my last memory of him, and, and we lived over 20 years together and had a lot of fun. And he was a great champion. And my last memory of the horse this song's about was I was walking away from his stall and I'd been down there all morning and he's, he just had carrots hanging out of his mouth and we put that pretty gray mare out and he was barely able to walk but he kind of three-legged it out to the, the fence and gave her a couple of those stallion trumpets and, and showed her what he was memorable for. Was, way to go out, Balatir Nazir. In pain and everything, but she's able to take his mind off of her for a while. You can't hardly find people dedicated right to the end to their job and their work like stallions. Uh, <laughs> even there, right to the last minute, you know, it, and, and he was in bad pain, and the veterinarian was kind of anxious to put him down and everything so he didn't have to suffer no more, but his whole mind was on, I think I got one more job in here. <laughs> So this is a song about him in better times.
Are you playing along? <laughs> One, two, three, four. There we go. A lot of girls are afraid to do this. It sounds almost the same. It's like... Well, me and my horse, Bailey, we're going to the fair. We're going to ride the buck and run the barrel and see everything that's there. We're going to win, get all the women. Flag it tailed all the mares, we've hell bent for leather. When we go to the fair, we're going to shave and brush and shout and shout. Shoes up good and bright. Slap on all our leather stuff and stitch it up real tight. We'll jog around the show ring, lean against the rail, and check out all that horsey stuff like I. And legs and tails. These guys have got to listen to <laughs> Going to jog into the show ring. Well, the head said good and proud. When the announcer calls her names out, we hope it does it good and loud. Going with us, a blue ribbon. So off for the crowd. I guess we'll bring the stands down when Bello takes his bow. Going to jog around the grandstand down the old midway. I'll be munching popcorn while Baylow's chomping. Hey, gonna find ourselves a sap. Something cute on either side. And then me and my horse, Baylow, might just join them for a ride. 